Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, also known as Certified Winner, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of jackets that you can get for under $100. my face hello welcome it's nice to meet you feel free to like this video and subscribe down below I release videos every single Wednesday and I'd hate for you to miss out if this is not your first time seeing my face hello welcome back it's good to see you so we are officially in the heart of autumn okay so editing Vanessa here quick disclaimer I originally filmed this I would say late October, early November, which is why I'm saying we're in the heart of autumn. Obviously, this is being released closer to end of December, early January. Um, I got really, really flooded with school. I'm pretty sure I posted it on my Instagram asking you guys if you still wanted to see this video, even though it has some jackets that are no longer relevant, although some of them are winter jackets and are still relevant. And literally 100% of you guys said yes. So I decided I would edit it anyways and post it. So just know that some of these jackets are fall jackets, but a good majority of them are also winter jackets. And I can't guarantee you that they are still in stock because I literally bought these like three months ago. So continuing with the video. Which means it is starting to get a little colder and we are starting to need jackets. Fall is personally my favorite season because I love, love, love layering and I am obsessed with outerwear. So if you are just as obsessed as I am with fall outerwear, this is the video for you because I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of beautiful fall jackets that you can get for under $100. So the jackets I got for you guys today range anywhere between $41, which is in Canadian, so if you're from the States, it's even cheaper, all the way to exactly $100 or like $99, something like that. So it's definitely a bit of a range, and obviously with these prices come different types of jackets. So it ranges from like a light moto jacket all the way to a double lined, full fur, long line jacket. As always, links to all of these items will be down below in the description box along with my measurements just in case you guys want to hop on any of those items as well. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with the most affordable jacket and that is the long line, double lined fur jacket. I told you it was going to be surprising what costs what, but the coziest, longest, most luxurious looking jacket actually turns out to be the most affordable one. So this fur jacket I got from none other than Shein.com. Now Shein, if you guys don't know, is a very, very affordable clothing brand. I'm pretty sure it's based in China. The quality is hit or miss. Sometimes you will find really, really, really good hits like this jacket, and sometimes you'll find some pretty long misses. But you just have to be smart and listen to the reviews and really look at the pictures. But enough about rules on how to shop online, I wanna to talk to you guys about this jacket. So as you guys can see here, it is a very long jacket. It goes down to about mid calf, almost ankle. Keep in mind, I'm five foot five or 165 centimeters. So if you are taller than this, it is going to be shorter than you. And the opposite if you are shorter than me. This jacket came in two colors. It comes in this really nice warm teddy color. And it also comes in a dusty rose color. I don't know if the dusty rose is still available, but this color definitely is. This jacket came in at a whopping $41. That's right, $41 for a jacket. This jacket, as you can see, has an inside lining and the outside is really, really soft and furry, which is what makes it so high quality, this lining. It really keeps the wind out and it keeps you really, really warm. The only downside to this jacket is that it actually doesn't button up in the front. It's completely open, which can get a little cold, but I've seen people style it on Shein where they actually belt it, which kind of acts as a close. Or honestly, you can just sew a button right on the inside, which I'm probably thinking of doing just so I can kind of keep it closed. The next jacket up is this cropped white bomber jacket. It is also really, really soft fur. 
So it's not like a teddy jacket. It's actually just like a fur jacket. I wouldn't call it shirling. I don't actually know what it's called. I would just call it faux fur. It has a nice hood and inside you can see that it is lined with this really nice silky material, kind of like the one from Shein. Oh yeah, this one is also from Garage, just in case you guys were wondering, as if you couldn't already see it on the tag, but in case you didn't, it's from Garage. Inside, it has a little bit of the fur, but it basically goes into this really, really silky lining and the lining is all throughout the sleeves and the body. It's definitely a solid thickness, kind of the same thickness as the Shein jacket if you guys decide to check it out. I got this in a size extra small and it fits rather cropped. This one cost me $59.95, which I think is a pretty good deal for a jacket, especially one of this quality. Now the reason I actually bought this one is that I technically already own it, I just bought it from a different brand. So this jacket right here is the American Eagle version, so as you can see it's not as silky in the hood, but it's still lined all the way through and it's definitely really really thick. It's not as cropped, so this one goes all the way down to my hips, while this one hits more of like a waist belly button-ish level and the whites are slightly off. This one's more of a cool toned white and this is a little bit more of a warm toned white. But either way, this jacket is definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite jackets. But I bought it two years ago or last year from American Eagle and they no longer make it or sell it. So when I saw this on Garage's website, I was like, I have to get it and review it for you guys because if I love the American Eagle one so much and this one's of the same quality, you guys can still get this one even though the American Eagle one is sold out slash no longer being made. The bottom has this really nice elastic so the wind won't go like up and under your jacket, especially on colder days, which is something I also really, really appreciate. And it kind of cinches in your waist for that extra little body contouring. So the next jacket I got, which I know is going to completely blow out my lighting, is this black leather or pleather jacket. Now this jacket is from Dynamite and it also cost me $59.95 Canadian. It's definitely on the thinner side of jackets. So if you're going to be wearing this, it's either an early fall jacket or you're definitely going to have to wear a lot of layers under it. It's nice because it's not that squeaky leather. It's actually a very, very well made pleather and the inside is slightly fuzzy, I guess. So it definitely keeps heat pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see the material or texture, but if you can, you can see that it's not the same material as the outside and it's not just like a regular cotton. It's slightly fleecy, which makes it nice and warm. I like that it also has a little bit of studded hardware and the zipper matches. So it's a silver zipper with some silver hardware. There's no hardware on the sleeves, which honestly I kind of appreciate because I am one to, I guess like throw my jacket over my shoulder or just be a little rougher with my clothes, which I probably shouldn't be, but I am. And the amount of times that I've hit myself on the hardware, like I think once I almost chipped a tooth on the hardware of a jacket. So just be careful of that if you're like me. If you're not, congratulations, you're normal. Now, although the bottom has like this button clasp to, I guess, make it seem like it's gonna get smaller, it's definitely just for decoration because there isn't multiple clips. Like this only goes on this, so it has nothing to really do with size. It's definitely just a nice little detail that they added. Somehow this jacket is slightly stretchy, which is honestly pretty nice because then it doesn't restrict my movements like some other leather jackets do. I am personally not a huge leather jacket fan. I don't wear it very often, but I kind of want to start getting back into it, which is why I bought this jacket for you guys today. So as you guys can see, it is a completely different day and that is because the H&M order took an extra two weeks compared to everything else. So I really wanted to get the filming of the first half of the jackets in um, just so I could kind of get it out of the way and then do the second half when the rest of the jackets came in. So it has been two weeks, they are now officially in and I'm going to show you guys the last three jackets for under $100. Now I don't remember if I was going from most expensive to most affordable or most affordable to most luxurious. Um, so I'm just gonna pick a random jacket from this gigantic box that they had sent me. So the first jacket that I picked out of the box was this Sherling Longline jacket. Now this jacket was the most expensive one. It did hit that exact budget of $100. Well, technically it was like 99 
dollars and 95 cents but a hundred dollars so it capped my budget it was definitely the most expensive jacket but i can kind of see why because it is a long length jacket so i guess that's more material shirling i guess kind of an expensive material um so yeah let me just back up so you guys can see this a little better so as you can see in my video right here i am wearing it it is a long jacket it goes all the way down to i believe my calf from what i remember and it definitely hits all of the popular trending styles of 2020 so it has the shirling which is super super popular right now it's got color blocking with the blue pocket and the purple like block on the side and the black block along the top portion and like the white interspersed like color block is very very big right now so it definitely hits all of those it's also a turtleneck which is really nice also really popular right now but personally i've always liked turtlenecks because it definitely keeps you a lot warmer on those windy days and the zipper goes all the way down to the bottom with a little bit of a slight split so you can actually walk around in it honestly i really really like this jacket it's also double lined so if you look on the inside you'll see that it's only shirling for the collar and then the rest of it is actually lined with this nylon-y material which definitely helps with the wind another style that this definitely hits is oversized i actually had my boyfriend try it on and it fits him too so it fits me slightly oversized but it fits him properly and he usually wears a men's small while i wear like between a women's extra small and small so i did buy this one in an extra small um so if you're looking for something oversized i would not size up in this i would keep it the same size so since I started the second half of this video with the most expensive jacket, I'm going to just go down to the next peg, which is the second most expensive jacket. And this is the Kangol jacket from H&M. So it looks like they did a collaboration with another brand. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'll tell you right now, this jacket is also pretty on trend. So as you can see in this video right here, it is another long line jacket. I was looking for a long line puffer jacket and this one comes at a crazy good price. This one only costs $69.99 and it looks a lot like the Aritzia Super Puff jacket. Now, I don't know if it is as warm as the Super Puff. I would assume the answer is no, just because the Super Puff is literally like a $500 jacket and this one was only 70, but it looks like it for sure. It's got some nice big pockets and a hood. It is the exact color I was actually looking for. I've been looking for like a nude colored jacket just because I don't really have one. If you're not big on brands, this probably won't be the jacket for you because it does have this big Ken Gold branding on the arm. So I don't know if that's your style or not, but if it is, this is definitely the jacket for you. It also has it along the zipper, but you could take that off easily. I would definitely recommend this one, just wearing it here in this video, I'm getting really hot like i'm sweating so i would definitely say this isn't a not warm jacket if that makes any sense like it's definitely a very warm jacket i just don't know how good it'll do you like in the negative 30 to 40 canadian winters but i definitely think it'll keep you warm in like the negative 20s so that is a plus so last but not least is this shiny black jacket now i don't really know what this material is called but I guarantee you somebody out there does, so please tell me in the comments what it's called. It, it's kind of like patent leather, like it's very, very shiny, but it feels like plastic. Honestly, the best way I can describe it is it kind of looks like a garbage bag, but like a really stylish one. So as you can see right over here, this jacket is a little longer than I thought it was going to be, but I'm not mad at it. I originally thought it was going to be cropped and that's my mistake because the pictures obviously don't look cropped. I don't know why I thought it would be cropped, but I really like the hourglass shape it gives me. So it gives me like those big puffs, but the belt allows me to like really cinch in that waist, which is super nice. I think it looks really, really high fashion, especially just because of the material and just the silhouette it gives. I think wearing this with like pointed heels would be chef's kiss. I also really like that there is a bit of a turtleneck on the inside and then also a hood because I do find a lot of trouble with putting on a hood and then the wind can just go right into your neck because it just doesn't have that extra layer of protection. So this does combat against that. It is also lined on the inside. So if you look, it has the same kind of nylon lining 
that the other jacket, like the Sherling and the puffer jacket had. And overall, I definitely do think it'll keep you very warm, just like the other jacket. I'm literally sweating modeling this one for you guys. So I can definitely say it is a warm jacket. This one's a bit of a steal. It comes in at $62.99, so $63 Canadian. And for a full on jacket, and for how high fashion it looks, I definitely think it's worth the price. All right, guys, so that was me showing you a bunch of different jackets for under $100. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learned a little something something. I would definitely say my favorite pieces among all of these jackets is actually two of the H&M jackets. I really like the Sherling jacket, and I also really like the long line puffer jacket. I also really like the garbage bag jacket, but if I had to pick like a top, top winner, I think it would be the Sherling jacket. Of course, I clearly have expensive taste because I would pick the most expensive jacket, but I just really like how it's hitting all the trends. As always, don't forget all of the links to all of these items are in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I try to release videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you in the next one. Bye.